Welcome back to Ori and the Will of the Wisps. This is Bower's Reach. It's quite a large level, so I'm probably going to split it into two again. And uh, luckily I do have the uh, third jump, because that may make some of these large jumps a little bit easier. I'm just going to start by heading over in this direction and uh, pushing off the rock here. Okay, so there's a bit of a new game mechanic here. We need to just activate this fire. And uh, that's going to shoot out a fireball. And let's try to get it over there into that uh, furnace here. Oops. Try not to get stuck in those things. <laughs> no, wrong, oh, wrong way. <laughs> Okay, so that's actually going to melt um, a good portion of this level. Everything above it now should be melted. So let's uh, head up again and uh, just see what we can find this time. Um, I'm going to drop down first of... actually, is this... No, let's head up this way. I'll take a quick look at the map and... Just see where I am. Yeah, let's actually head... Not this... Oh, no, wrong way. Let's just head up uh, here for the moment. Uh, yeah, there's a lever up here which should open the door down below. So things are starting to get quite a bit more difficult. Just about everything here is dangerous. Even the platforms will try to eat you. Okay, let's once again go down, first of all. And uh, this time it's going to be quite a bit harder. We need to get the fireball over to the, uh, the furnace all the way over there. Uh, so it's going to take a couple of uh, a couple of bashes here to get it far enough over there. Oh, come on. Is that going to do it? Yes. Phew. Okay, let's pick that one up and uh, head up here, see what we can find. Get a little uh, spirit light container. And I'll take a quick look at the map and see if there's anything I'm uh, missing down here. Don't think there's anything I can get to at the moment. I uh, still need to be able to dash through the sand, which I can't do at the moment. And uh, need another ability to get through that wall of ice over there. So I'm going to head back up. And uh, just over here we have uh, Lipo. 
Ah, aku... <risos> oh, <risos> Chief of the Spirit Light. Let's go and purchase the map for this area. And it is uh, quite a large area, as you can see. And we need to head all the way up here to find uh, the missing Wisp. Spirit Well is just above, but uh, I will need to grab an ability before I can get through to it. Okay, let's carry on. I don't think I've missed anything so far. Oops, <laughs> just didn't jump, <laughs> didn't quite jump uh, fast enough there. Ah, oh, there we go. So just over here we've got some more sand or snow. So I can't get through to that little area at the moment. I'm gonna have to leave that for now. So let's dash over here and talk to Tok. Oh, 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 Okay, so we need to find another fireball to light that furnace there. First of all, get rid of these guys. Uh, these guys look like Grom, don't they? Okay, so first things first, let's uh, keep this place up. Ah, oh, must have just missed. Takes, a, uh, takes me a few attempts usually to get this one right. Alright, let's try this again. Jump off. That one did it? Yes, that did it. Now, we can actually go for a bit of a swim down here as well. Just dodge around these, grab the spirit light container there. And uh, there is a door over there to the right, um, but I do need to grab all of uh, the keystones. There should be four of them. Ah, oh, keep... No, keep dashing to the wrong thing. Keep bashing that rather than... Ah, um... oh, there we go. Um, just in here we have a little secret with some more ghoul egg ore. Okay, so I'm going to head up now. Let's grab the keystone over here first of all. Uh, one more keystone up here. This one's fairly difficult to grab. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, so through the door, and this is where we're going to pick up uh, a new ability. This is 
the uh, light burst ability, it is pretty handy to use. So let's switch over to it now. You just basically throw it like that. And uh, you can use that to, uh, to bash off of. Little spirit light container in here as well. And uh, the hut over here has another seed that you can bring to the gardener, if I can get this right. Another mysterious seed. So I'll take that back to the gardener later. Uh, there's a couple more things I want uh, here. Let's just try to bash off of that. Grab the Gorlek. Oh, not high enough. Oh, come on. Yes. Come on, Ori. There we go. Okay, we got it. Um, so we can use this to break down these ice barriers as well, which means we will be able to get through to the well. Let's break that one. Um, so this ability, ability is going to come in uh, pretty handy uh, in the rest of the levels. Okay, so we are through here to the, uh, to the well. Just going to save the game here. And uh, I think we're about cl uh, close to uh, halfway through uh, Bower's Reach. Okay, so we can't get through this way. I will have to go around. I'm going to head back and um, just grab some of the things that we missed along the way. Let's just, uh, oh, let's just smash that first. Okay, so the, now that we have this ability, I can actually just light these myself. So I should be able to dash over and grab the Gorlek Ore. And uh, there is a little something over on uh, this uh, side as well. Ah, here we go. Okay, so let's head back and uh, see what else find. Grab a little bit of uh, that there. Um, I think I yeah, need to drop down on the other side. So let's head back this way. And, uh, drop down here. Okay, once again we can use this, oops, if I can hit it, does that work? No? Oh, missed again, I can't believe it. <laughs> oh no, that worked, okay, <laughs> good. Right, let's drop down here, just for a little uh, goodie up there. And uh, see something, oop, something over here.
So I finally found the comfy hat. I can give that back to the Moki in the, uh, the Wellspring Glades. Uh, so that's good. I will need to use this little trick uh, to get up here though. Um, so lighting this will open the door back to the Wellspring Glades. Uh, not the Wellspring Glades, the, uh, the Wellspring, or the Well here. So we've done a bit of a loop around. that ah oh, this on the map is let's just break this uh, first of all I do need to move quickly here because there is a huh oh I'm gonna have to go through the snow that's right okay so I can't get to that uh, the life cell just at the moment I'm gonna continue heading in this direction Now we're coming up to some uh, very tricky jumps here. This is one of them. One of the most, one of the trickiest few jumps so far. That, uh, that's, it's very hard to get this jump. All right, let's try again. Now, it might be easier if I use the sticky. Uh, that could be a, an option. Ah, there we go. Got it. Nice. Whew. Okay. I was a bit worried about that jump. Thought I might be stuck there for a while, but uh, it wasn't too bad. Okay, so we're going to head up this way. Oh, no. There's a spot here we can hang on to. It should be just... Just the right spot to grab that spirit like container there. Uh, once again, sticky is probably a good idea here, but I kind of can't be bothered. Let's just do that. There we go. Okay. Uh, now, if we head back up, up this way, it should um, take us back to this cavern over here. So I'm just... Um, Making a little bit of a, a shortcut there. Split light burst into three. Okay. So we have found another shard. Okay, whew, 
Yeah, some tricky jumps in this level. <laughs> very, very tricky. A little bit of extra health there, and I think I want even more health. Let's just get full up on health, get ready f with the, uh, the uh, spirit arc here as well. Um, because these doors are going to close in a second, and we have a boss fight. Okay, I think I've got it. Just this last guy, and uh, that should be it. Whew. Quick look at the map as well, just to uh, make sure I've got everything here. Um, I think I've got everything that I need, oh, that I can grab now anyway. I don't have the ability to be able to dash uh, through the sand. So we'll have to come back for a few little extra areas. I uh, need to go and grab the, uh, the keystones for that as well. I might actually just head down um, here first of all. So this takes us back to the Wellspring Blade, but as you can see down there, there's, uh, there is something that we can grab. Melt this ice first of all, and uh, let's go and pick it up. Convert melee damage into energy. waste my energy here so let's oh, let's do it this way do want to get back up I'll use the fireball from here okay so now we're almost done with this uh, level this area I should say um, but I'm going to do the spirit trial first. So let's go and grab... Uh, all of the keystones here. Oop. Oh no! It's a very, very uh, tricky area with all of, oh, all of the... Oh no! No, what am I doing? Uh, with all of the thorns everywhere. Very tricky area. Okay, so let's activate the portal. I will give this a go. So the start and finish line is pretty much at the same spot here. Uh, let's begin this spirit trial. Okay. Oh, oh, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, 
stuck. We're stuck in the thorns. Uh, I think I'm still going to do it though. Made uh, quite a few mistakes, but uh, still managed to uh, to beat this guy. There we go. Whew. Not too bad. 39.3. Not as good as um, I have done in practice. But uh, still not too bad. Let's take a quick look at the leaderboard. So I did get down to 6,649. Um, there's one thing I forgot to grab here as I was doing the uh, race. I realized there's a spot I can float up here for um, a spirit light container. Okay, let's uh, just make our way all the way up here.
So that's Shriek's story, and uh, no wonder she's kind of messed up at the moment. But we have found a new wisp, and uh, I think there's another three more to go. So we need to decide uh, which area we're going to head to next. Probably the Luma Pools, but we'll save that for the next episode. So uh, thanks for watching. See you again soon for Ori and the Will of the Wisps.